Okay, hi everyone. So today we are gonna talk about sales quotation. Okay, so what is sales quotation? Okay, sales quotation actually is very important if uh, because they help you to lock or establish a base price for your trading, meaning that you're for goods, goods and service. But not all actually are of the company actually using the sales quotation. So it depends on what is your workflow. So sales quotation applet in Big Ledger used to produce the document that tells the client or your customer how much is your product or service that costing of your or the selling price of your your product. So under the sales quotation, uh, later on I'm gonna show you. So the first part actually will be the listing where you can you can do the advanced search by the branches by when is your that range on your creation or transition date, okay? And then what is the posting status, whether it is a draft, final, void, or discarded, okay? And uh, what will be uh, the one that you needed for when you want to create the new sales quotation, uh, which is the main details, so your branch and everything, account on your customer side, your lines, will be adding your item. Uh, KO4, this is when you want to KO, uh, or convert from another document to the sales quotation, then we use a KO4. So if let's say you sales quotation actually will be your first document that you need to create when you want to issue any sales uh, transaction, then you don't need any sales quotation. Okay, settlement, the contract. This settlement, if let's say they're having a deposit, you can create here under the settlement or under the receipt voucher applet okay when if let's say you create under the receipt voucher applet then you can able to contract over here this docking if let's say it will spoil you like if let's say the sales quotation convert to the sales order so it will show under the docking over here export is uh, for your printable attachment if you want to attach your document or any any document to your sales quotation Collection, convert, delivery detail, and department header. So whatever that you don't need here, actually you can hide it. Okay. Here uh, we put the related applet over here. The first one actually is the receipt voucher. This receipt voucher is for your deposit. So if let's say, but this one, if let's say you need, there's a case that when you when you issue any sales quotation to your customer, and then your customer give you the deposit, and then you want to link it to the sales quotation. So in that time, you need the receive voucher where you need to create the receive voucher for the deposit and then you do the future. This one is for your future contract. Okay, for your future contract. And then the next will be organization applet. Uh, this organization applet is where you configure your KO, the KO configuration. The KO configuration over here, the KO4. Okay, so the creation step, later I'm going to show you on the live, like uh, you need to all of this information like a main detail the account to choose the customer account the line to contract uh, account type this is the uh, and then settlement contra docking and everything okay so let me show you the applet okay so this is the sales quotation applet so if you see on the left here we have a sales quotation the line item and the export Okay, if let's say you want to create new, so you need to click plus over here. And the main details where you store all of your branch, your location. Okay, so your branch, your location, and then your date and sales agent. Okay, account is where you store your customer. Okay, the customer. So either you choose the customer over here, the existing, or you can... Go to select mode over here and then you click plus for the new customer. Okay, for the new customer. But if let's say it's already existing, so you just choose choose the customer. Okay, and then you click on the line item. It's the way you find your item code. What how much is uh, the item? What is the item and how much you sell to the customer under the sales quotation? Okay. So so if you see here, we have a KO4 over here. 
Okay, KO4. So you you identify what will be your workflow. So if let's say you're creating a job sheet first, job sheet then only sales quotation, sales quotation then only sales invoice. So you configure later on. I show you under the organization effort. But if let's say sales quotation will be your first document that you issue to your customer. Okay, then you we need to have. A, I mean, we you we need to enable the setting to hide the KO4 over here. Because in the sales quotation, you don't need any KO4 because you don't converting any document through the sales quotation. But instead, uh, you're gonna have you're gonna need the KO4 under your sales order, for example, because you're converting sales quotation to the sales order. Okay. So this is a sample. So all the numbering, the date, okay, sales agent the account here and then the line item okay how much is the item so if let's say it's i mean all the sales quotation created you able to do the contract okay this contract if let's say you have a deposit that um, you want to link to this sales quotation so you you create the receipt voucher and then you click contract over here the system actually will read uh will take all of your document that's still outstanding to able to control with this sales quotation okay docklink docklink if let's say you enable the ko configuration okay export for your for printable for okay each document create or each transaction created by default it will go to draft draft means that you're able to you can change anything that you want over here okay then you need to do the final of it if let's say it's from draft then it's totally wrong so you can discard it but if let's say it's uh, confirmed then you need to do the final yeah so uh for the related applet all right so receive voucher is where you create the deposit all right the deposit it, it, here you need to make sure that the branch is the same and also the, the account is the same okay the account is need to be the same so this is a voucher it will shown here under the contra okay under the contra you you will when you click plus system will will show you under the same branch and under the same customer okay for you and then the next actually would be organization effort so here is uh, where you configure your ko configuration so like just now like what i say that if let's say it's a uh, what will be your first key in transaction your first transaction or document that you need to give to your customer so you configure over here so make sure that all with the blue color which is enabled okay okay so this line item by item okay this is by the sales quotation here is by transaction, by document number. But this line item is by itemized. So it's based on the item code over here. This file export is where you want to export uh, the sales quotation from which date range to which date range. What is the date range? So the advanced filter for the sales quotation, you can search by branch, creation date, the date range, and everything. Okay, next will be the setting actually okay this is the file export the next one will be the setting so for setting uh same like the other applet that we have in the big picture so we're gonna have a gen doc listing line server doc all this is for the tabs so you can you can hide or you you can hide or show which information that you need to show to your your user so when your user log in, they don't need to see a lot of uh, unused information, non-used information. Okay. So here, if you say you want to hide all of those, so make sure that it's a uh, then account. Okay, line item. This uh, for the KO four. If you don't use the KO four under this self quotation, so you make sure that you hide. So you just hide whatever information that you don't need. 
okay. attachment, all the contra, teman okay. and default selection. So default selection for default branch and okay, printable format. Okay, and here will be your permission. It's based on the permission, and then you can you can assign what is the permission set. Uh, the personalization here is uh, if let's say I my user over here, okay, I can I have permission to see few um, few branches, okay, but I can choose my default selection. So when I log in, when I log in, will when Gracia this wavelet Gracia at wavelet.net log in, what will be the first branch that they can see as default? You can see, so you can choose. You can choose. So when they go to the sales quotation over here, when they click plus, okay, when they click plus, they don't need to select this part. So it will always go to here. The one that I set under the personalization. Okay. So yeah. So basically that would be uh, for the sales quotation. Because sales quotation usually uh, is the first it might be the first uh, transaction document that you created for the customer where this is, you can say that um, you still have, you need to convert it to another document. So there, there will be no posting, uh, no, no journal posting under the sales quotation. And also it will not deduct your stock under the sales quotation. Anything you need help for the sales quotation, please do contact us. Thank you.